praise the Lord the, that his promised rainbow of the kingdom age has finally begun with correct understanding of biblical prophecy, proving once and for all that God's, God is a God of equality, that he has always loved us all exactly the same. If it were not so, he would be a liar, according to the evidence that I will now present unto all. Uh, camping upon this great mountain of Isaiah 25, where God is going to remove our shame and our guilt as it is written therein, Welcome to the marriage supper of the Lamb as wrongly misunderstood because God is saying to each and every one of us, he's saying, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. If he does not remember it, how in the hell are we condemning each other if God is not condemning us people? Come on back to this channel and learn the truth. It has been veiled until now. I am the Latter-day Daniel from Canada the north i if if that did not happen that one from the north would come isaiah 41 god would be alive if there was not a latter day daniel arising uh, Daniel 12, 13, God would be a liar. If the people of Israel did not receive their kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31, God would be a liar because it says it would happen in verse uh, 31, 1. God would be a liar if these things did not happen. The veil has been pulled. I have proven through correct prophecy interpretation that uh, it's time for he who will feed the master's household meat before the master can return because I am the one preparing his way by his message that he will evermore be our God and we will all evermore be his people if we commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, if we let our, uh, our light of love not go out. For that is him living in us that is not of ourself. Uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags. It doesn't matter what we have believed correctly or incorrectly. All that matters is we keep our love light alive. Oh, people of love. He says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught about me anymore. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. And we all have known him when we were children, when our love was moving as a verb. But then we entered the land of the walking dead. We enter a place forsaken uh, by love, which we bring on ourselves by letting our love wax cold. And then we have a form of godliness, but we deny the power of love whom Jesus is. For those who love are born of God and know him, because God is love. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love, so whosoever should uh, love should not perish, but have everlasting life and everlasting love. I am Elijah. I am Shiloh, and I hold from Genesis 49, 12, the scepter of all of God's authority. I am the only viceroy of, of uh, Pope uh, Francis, uh, the spiritual viceroy, because he has declared that we all have the same God, as does the Lord God, because the covenant was correctly ad addressed not to Christians. It was addressed to all mankind, and that is totally provable by all the dots that I connect. And if you want to live with obsolete faith, go ahead. But all religion on earth is now obsolete, as it is written in Hebrews 8. Uh, Paul foretold it and repeated the words of, uh, uh, I will be your God, you will be my uh, people, from Jeremiah 31. Muhammad said this, my people shall belong to another that sounds like Islam, and there will be no more of the Quran except its outward form because of a book coming that proves God's mercy. And that's why he was correct. There was never uh, going to be another important prophet ahead. He knew it was Jeremiah, and he knew that was kingdom age time. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Quit ignoring my truths or this earth shall be destroyed.